hello guys and welcome back so in the previous videos we have completed our zombie ai now as you can see our zombie can walk towards the walk points and we have a fully functional enemy rifle and as you know when we come in the pursue distance or you can say the chasing distance the zombie chases us around as you can see the zombie is chasing us and when we are in the attack range as you can see the zombie can attack us and the zombie can also damage us okay and we can also damage the zombie so with all of this complete as I told you the next thing which we will be doing is adding the second type of zombie so that zombie will have also three state the first one will be the idol he will be just standing in one place okay he will be idling or you can say he will be scratching his body or whatever the zombie wants to do and after that the zombie will run towards the player if the player uh, gets inside the pursue radius or you can say the vision radius and the zombie will also attack if the player becomes closer to the zombie attack range then the zombie will attack the player and of course the fourth state will be the die state okay when we kill the zombie then the zombie will simply die so open up your browser and on the unity asset store search for zombie this is the creator of this package and this is a free package the file size is 10 mb okay so you can go ahead and download this package it contains some few animations and also a really realistic kind of zombie here is the url to this package so let's use this zombie and if you have some other zombie then you can use that one as well you are free to do that now i am using this one so i will add this to my assets and after adding it it will show this button open in unity then open unity editor and as you can see here is the zombie package i have already downloaded it so i will simply import this inside my game okay it's inside this zombie folder we don't want the scene okay we just need the textures materials and the animations so i will click on import now okay it has been imported this was the zombie folders which we created we have this zombie one inside it now we have this zombie folder okay which is the asset folder okay inside we have the animation of px materials prefab textures all of that let's just actually drag and drop this inside the zombies and now when we open the zombies we have the zombie right here and the zombie one which is this one okay so let's open up the zombie folder right here in the prefabs you can notice there are this zombie this zombie size is a little bit smaller this one is a little bit bigger and i think these two are the same but you can notice some changes right here okay so let's just get back to the fbx folder right here you can see the zombies as well okay let me see the rig select the second one and what we will do with this zombie is to simply just drag and drop this in there okay now as you can see we have this zombie right here let's click on prefab and that completely let's drag and drop him down below we have the zombie 2 now zombie 1 zombie 2 okay you don't need to rename it as well but what we will do with this is to create a parent object for this and name it as zombie 2 and actually we can name this as body okay now we have this zombie right here What we will do now in the zombie okay we have the zombies and then the zombie folder okay don't confuse in between 
right here as you can see we have this animator for this zombie but we don't need that so we will actually delete it and then let's create animator controller by the name of zombie 2 and click on the zombie 2 let's drag and drop that in there okay it needs an avatar now so if we get back to the FTX, we have selected the second zombie right here as you can see it doesn't have any avatar so what we will do on the rig click on this and then click on this create from this model okay and actually we can leave that as it is click on the word let's find the avatar for this one okay here it is the zombie one so let's just add this avatar okay we have added the avatar now make sure that you open up the zombie one and here is the avatar okay the avatar is not included in the zombie one and two sorry zombie two and three okay now we have the zombie avatar zombie animator the next thing the zombie need is a script so if we click on the scripts right here let's add a c-sharp script by the name of zombie2 and we will drag and drop the zombie2 script on the zombie2 game object as you can see right there and also we need to add the nav mesh agent on this as well so add the nav mesh agent let me turn on the gizmos let's click on this okay the nav mesh agent fits the zombie as you can see that's it let's save this we have the nav mesh agent zombie we can attach let's also add the capsule collider to it okay let's drag that there like that Okay, okay so the collider is now also added save this the animator name message and capture collider is added also the script now in the next video we will work on the zombie 2 script and we will make this zombie functional so with this done, catch you guys in the next video.